Hey guys, it's Wei. I'm going to give you five top tips for night street photography. And five, use a fast prime like an f1.8 or faster. It can mean the difference between getting an average shot or an amazing one. But if you don't have one, don't sweat it. I have a ton of night shots taken at f4 simply because that was the only lens I had with me at the time. You know what they say, the best camera is the one you have on you. Number four, wander a little. At night, the atmosphere is completely different to the same place during the day, and some of the best shots can be found on quieter streets. I'm not saying walk to the middle of nowhere, no, even just some side streets off the main areas can have some really interesting things. Like what do we have down here? Here's something. What's this? It's a mosaic kookaburra. Number three. Don't be afraid of bad photos. However many bad photos your regular street photography produces, you're going to get way more for night street photography. You're probably gonna wind up taking more blurry shots, you're gonna be focusing on the wrong subject, maybe even the background, and your shots are gonna be noisier. Increase your number of usable photos with this one notion. A noisy photo is usable, whereas a too blurry shot can't even be recovered in post. This means your shutter speed needs to be fast enough whether manual mode or using auto ISO minimum shutter speed. Quick reference in the description below. What's fast enough? That depends on what you're shooting and how steady your hands are. There's a lot of other factors, but for most people, this means about 1 30th of a second to 1 60th of a second for stills. 1 125th of a second for shooting people, usually. Now that can go up even higher depending on how quick you expect your subjects to move. At night people are generally moving a lot slower but you may need a faster shutter speed if need be. And how fast you can go is really dependent on your gear. If you like what you've seen so far, hit that like button. Number two, go after it's been raining or the snow has melted. It might seem miserable and cold, but when the ground is covered with water, it can produce some amazing reflections. Waterways do this all the time at night. Just make sure it's not too windy so you can get that clean, crisp reflection. Just be prepared for rain and don't rely on an umbrella. It can be super awkward to hold and shoot at the same time, especially with a heavier setup. Shooting at night means shooting with a slower shutter speed to allow more light in. Shooting at a slower speed means more chances for your shaky hands to ruin the shot. Take a raincoat or a hiking shell and make sure you have a dry place for your camera too. If you're wondering, all gear I've used, links in the description below. Number one, most important of all, be less afraid. Depending on where you're taking photos, you might be a bit afraid to go out after dark. That's just normal, you don't want to get robbed or injured. Obviously, never do it in dangerous areas. If you aren't familiar with the area, you can ask a trustworthy local or suss out the area during the day. If you're traveling, this means exploring the town by day so you can get the lay of the land, which you're gonna do anyway. Get familiar so when you go out at night, that initial fear of the unknown is massively reduced. You'll get an idea of how safe it is and which direction to leg it if you need. Main tourist areas and night events, even in your hometown, are a good starting point. This will help you feel more confident and be less of a target no matter where you are. Of course, don't be stupid and if you don't feel safe, just don't do it, there's no shame in that. If you're already out and you think some shady is around, just pop the camera back in the bag until it's safe to bring it out again. Bonus tip, practice having steady hands. As you get better, you may start toying with the settings such as shutter speed. To do that, you really need steady hands. Hold the camera close to your chest with both hands. Breathe out. Hold your breath and press that button. If you're using a really low shutter speed, set your camera to a two second delay. Your camera won't shake when taking the photo. But be careful, you can forget to change it back and miss the next fleeting shot. Remember, most importantly, be less afraid. And that's my top tips for night photography. If you found this useful, give a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Oh.